on the bye week off. Good. Yeah, we had our. Uh, I think the best part about it, we we allowed a lot of guys to get healed up, um, and then we hit the weight room real hard, and uh, get some guys caught up in academics and everything. So it came at the right time, especially for the health part of our with our team. But uh, yeah, obviously we got some extra time to do some recruiting as a staff and and um, also do some extra preparation time for uh, for Cincinnati. So. We took advantage of the of the extra time that we had, the extra week. You had like you had like sixteen days off between games. Is it gonna help your team you think be more healthy? Yeah, I mean that's that's the key, I think. I mean yeah, that's it, it seemed like a long time but it came at the right time I think for us in the season after that eight game stretch, you know, to prepare for this these last four and so I think the timing works out perfectly for us, especially trying to get our our main guy, our running back healthy. So I think it's going to be huge for him and his development, and his progression towards being 100%. We didn't get a chance to talk since Boise. Mm-hmm. What did you kind of try and build off that game and come back from, you know, after it being so close and not being able to cut, finish it off? Well, I mean, if, if you had told me that um, we didn't have Jamal going into that game and that we still had a chance to win at the end, I would have taken it. Um, but after looking at the game, there's a lot of opportunities that we had, even to build on the lead and, and also um, to make some plays that we didn't, weren't able to capitalize on, and so that was frustrating. But I was pleased with with uh, the effort and the fight in our guys because it gave us a chance to win the game at the end. And I think if we had blocked it better and would have, I mean, you have to give boys a lot of credit. They just they just pushed our guys out of the way and blocked that kick, and uh, it just seemed like uh, you know just uh, all these close games. It, it would have been a good way for us to to you know win that one on a field goal. What is Jamal's status? He should be good. He should be good to go, yeah. Uh, did you do any kind of like team scouting and make any changes to the depth chart? With the um, not really, other than the guys, if they get healthy. I mean, there's still some guys that are day, day to day, you know, so I think it's the other guys that are kind of, that there's a question on. I think Jamal will be fine, but for the most part, all the other guys, if, if we can, um, it'll change if we feel like there's a lot of progress from now until Thursday. Uh, and so, yeah, there's still some question marks out there. Guys like Louie and, you know, I mean, you look at some of the other guys that are, I think Masi, and I'm trying to think of others that I could help you out with, but those are still day-to-day. Jamal should be good to go, though. Can you talk about Squally Canada and just how he did filling in for uh, uh, Jamal and just the progress he's made this year? Yeah, I think the, the, the timing was a little odd because I think everyone assumed that Jamal was going to be ready to go. and. Um, uh, when we told him he was going to be the guy, he had a lot of confidence because Jamal was there with him. And so, um, you know, I, I think he performed well, but I think it's probably worked out in our favor the way it happened. Didn't have a lot of time to think about it, just had to go, you know. And um, he, 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 I don't know exactly, I can't remember what his exact numbers were, but I thought he, he ran the ball hard and, and uh, you know, he found some open holes, and even when there weren't, weren't some. And so he went against a great defense, and I thought, I thought he was. Uh, yeah, I thought he did a pretty good job. One of the things that we see, the, the receivers had some chances to make some plays, and mm-hmm. the balls got away from them. How's yeah. that being addressed? What do you have to do there? I just have to catch the ball. I mean, I don't know any other way to say it than that. And um, you know, I, I think I, that was disappointing because I thought those are big time opportunities that, that, that I mentioned it before that could have helped us out and um, stayed, you know, stay on the field and continue drives and possibly get more points on the on the board. Um, but yeah, we'll just have to keep working with it and and uh, make sure that we have the right guys out there to make those plays and and that you know using the extra time is going to be helpful for us and getting the right guys out there and making sure that we uh, you know when they have those opportunities to catch the ball that they have to. It's just it's kind of a given here. Is that a mentality thing then? Uh, just got to make sure that they've got the right mindset. Or yeah, I mean, I all, all the guys that dropped them. I mean, it was it, it was uh, I think it's just a little lack of, of focus on that one, but. Uh, for the most part, I mean, I, I can't remember who dropped all of them. It seemed like so long ago, but I mean, I even, you know, we had some, you know, Squally, I remember dropped one that was could have been huge for us. But I mean, uh, it's not like it was all on one position, but um, the receivers, that's their job. We expect them to block downfield for our running backs, and, and we expect them to catch the ball. So. You've gone to the trick plays a few times, including the fake punt, obviously, that mm-hmm. you know, people have talked about. But how, how does the execution on the trick plays need to be improved? Because it just doesn't seem like they've done a whole lot for you. Yeah, we just got to, I mean, 
we thought it was going to be there, but it wasn't really, I can't really um, say, the execution wasn't perfect. I know the, the, it was a little odd because of where it was at, but, um, you know, we'll see, we'll see if, if I, I like taking risks, you know, and then it didn't cost us. So it was one of those things where we would say, well, what could have happened? Yeah, but if, imagine if it worked, um, you know, so I look forward to the next chance that we can do it. So I, I pretty, I'm pretty sure Cincinnati's watching film and saying, hey, watch the fakes, you know, and um, that's a good time to run one too when they're expecting it. So I'm just trying to put it out there for Coach Tupperville. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a game. We, we thought we had something there and obviously it didn't work out, um, but it didn't cost us any points. So I know people can be critical of it, but it didn't cost us anything. I mean, they missed the field goal. So, you know, um, didn't really, you know, I, I've had people ask me why we kicked the field goal uh, earlier than on, on second down. Well, if you watch the earlier field goal that we kicked, um, they, were, they did a line shift on us, and there's a lot of movement and could have been called a penalty on us. And so our, our offensive line, with the noise and the line shift, actually jumped, and um, it didn't get called, but we still made the field goal, you know. But if, if with no timeouts and 15 seconds left on the clock, if, if we, are, if we sh get penalized again, it's a 10 second runoff, you know, and so felt like. Okay, if, if we get it down to five seconds and there's a line shift and we have a penalty, uh, then that. And, and if you watch the, the film on the kick, they took a timeout and they shifted and we actually moved. So um, that's one of the reasons why we made that, did the kick earlier. If we had a timeout, then we might have been able to do something with, with the plays on that. So all, all the thoughts and all, all everything that we're thinking about and going into the game, uh, the decisions we make are all stuff that we calculate. And some of them don't look great especially on fourth and 19 but what if it worked you know so look forward to another fourth and long and proving some people wrong or not we'll see can that be a <laughs> calling card for your guys teams you're, 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 you're willing to take those risks and can that help your team out well why do you practice it if you're not going to do it you know so um you know so we, we practice all these all these uh, different situations and um you know, if we see an opportunity, I have to give Boise credit. And in the short week, uh, they changed some things up front with the, with the punt return. And um, if they would have done the old stuff, you know, they shouldn't have added something new on punt return. But if they would have done the old stuff, I think it would have worked out fine. But um, we'll see. You know, we have a really athletic punter in Johnny. And, and um, you know, he's, he's a great rugby player, so he knows how to run. He's got a lot of speed. And so uh, we'll see if we can take a chance on some other play. We'll see. Is there going to be any consideration given to giving Tanner Mangum uh, maybe an opportunity to play? Uh, um, well, he's our backup quarterback, and so it's 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 I, I've talked to, to Ty, and, and we've talked about it as a staff from the beginning of what our plans are the, for our, for our players and getting them ready. Obviously, we know that he's going to be the guy of the future, but uh, the main key is to try to win the game, you know. And, and uh, Taysom's our starting quarterback, and. You know, Tanner will have his turn, and, and we'll see what, what happens. But as far as um, game planning and all that, that's still in the works. So I can't say – but that, that was always in the works in the beginning anyways, you know, from week one to week eight. And so uh, this, this week's no different. So we're always looking at opportunities that we can get guys on the field and quarterbacks no different. I don't know if that helps you. but So basically what's been going on is pretty much the same, Yeah. What do you make of Cincinnati? You guys got a head start on them. What do you make? Yeah, really good team. Um, I mean, they have some really athletic guys, and uh, you know, just uh, looking at them, and especially the Houston film was really impressive. Um, they were there from the very beginning, and then it just seemed like the, the, you know, a bunch of scoring happened, and so the game was a lot closer than the final actually shows. Uh, but they, I mean, they have a great coaching staff. I think I've said this every week about every team that we've seen on schedule. Um, you know, we've gone against some great teams in, in the first eight games, and, and this one fits the schedule perfectly. So we're expecting their best shot. We go there, and so it's another long trip for us, and we're looking forward to it. We're actually looking forward to this being the last one in the, home, the regular season can come at home for that three-game stretch at home. So it's, it's going to be fun. Did you focus much on Cincinnati during the bye week, or was it more on you guys? No, it was, it was, it was both. I mean, I mean, you have to take advantage of the bye week, and so Cincinnati was our, our focus. And, and getting our guys healthy and, and keeping them progressing 
specifically the younger guys developing that developing the the depth um, working on our technique and getting stronger in the weight room but um, Cincinnati's our next opponent and that's all that's as far as we take it and we, we we're focused on them and yeah uh, we, we planned on them for from the beginning after the Boise game was done is there a team that you've played this year that you would compare Cincinnati to as offense or defense um, well a lot of the spread teams so like West Virginia and Toledo and those type of teams you know um, uh, they're dangerous in a lot of different ways and so we defensively a lot of the, we've, we've seen that so there's a lot of um, carryover with some of the some of the teams that we've seen and um, I mean that's going to be the that way when you go to game nine in the, in the season so we're thankful in that part but uh, a lot of great players and uh, great coaching so uh, we're expecting a great game